A federal judge issued a ruling today that will bring renewed scrutiny to the NYPD's controversial stop and frisk policy. Investigative reporter Jim Hoffer tells us about the judge's decision on a lawsuit the city was fighting to have tossed out. The NYPD's key crime-fighting tactic known as stop and frisk appears headed to trial. A federal judge in an 86-page decision ruled today that a lawsuit by several plaintiffs raises serious questions about quotas, racial profiling, and constitutional rights that should be heard by a jury. Well, it confirms what you know we and the plaintiffs in this case, as well as thousands of New Yorkers, have been saying for the last several years, which is that you know, there are serious questions about the legality and the fairness of the New York Police Department's stop and frisk program. David Auerlicht, a SUNY Albany College student, is one of the plaintiffs. It's the thousands of people like me who, who, deals this, who deal with this on an everyday basis. It's good that it's not being just thrown away and it's, and it's being heard. In a Skype interview, Auerlicht explained how he filed the suit after being stopped and searched numerous times for no reason, he claims. He says the judge's decision not to throw out the case moves the lawsuit toward an ultimate goal. Me and other people don't have to be living in fear of the people who are supposed to protect us. In her decision, the judge cited smoking gun precinct roll call recordings as sufficient evidence to move forward on the claim of quotas. Some of those recordings heard last year in an Eyewitness News investigation. I want 250 to see something. I want a ghost town. I want to be able to echo from one end of the street to the other. You understand? That's what I want in a perfect world. So that's your mission. Guys need college, need activity. There you go. So you got to get me moved. The judge did rule that officers were justified in their reasonable suspicion that led to one stop and frisk. But the claims by three other plaintiffs will move forward, based in part on testimony before the judge by Officer Adil Polanco, who first blew the whistle on stop and frisk quotas last year on Eyewitness News. I'm not going to keep searching people for no reason. I'm not going to keep writing people for no reason. I'm tired of this. In response to the judge's ruling, NYPD Deputy Commissioner Paul Brown said stops save lives. The NYPD, he says, is lawfully engaging in doing just that with the lives of over 2,500 young men of color having been spared over the last decade because of stops and other programs focused on reducing shootings and murders in those neighborhoods where they occur most. Jim Hoffer, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.